Coming up, a beloved actress who paved the way for others has died. And which reality TV star has been arrested for assault? All that and more tonight on WVN Entertainment. From Boston, this is WEBN News. Welcome to WEBN Entertainment. I'm Christine Park. And I'm Hannah Shuttlecotty. Let's dive into the latest news out of Hollywood. The star of Julian Dynasty, Diane Carroll, has died at the age of 84. She passed away at her home in Los Angeles after a long battle with breast cancer. Carol was best known for starring in Julia on NBC, one of the first non-stereotypical characters for a black woman. She went to become the first African-American woman to win a Tony for Best Actress in for the 1962 musical No Strings. She leaves behind a legacy of opening doors for many other black actresses. The Jersey Shore actor Ronnie Ortiz Margot was recently released from jail. Ronnie was, re was sentenced for domestic violence with his girlfriend, Jen Harley. He was allegedly striking her, chasing her with a knife, and forcing the cops to tase him. The couple has been on and off due to several violent incidences. His bail was set at $100,000. Beauty mogul Kylie Jenner and rapper Travis Scott are taking a break after over two years together. Kylie confirmed the split through Taylor where she said that her and Travis's main focus is on their 20-month-old daughter Stormy. The two are still seeking to maintain a friendship as a co-parent. The 22-year-old and 28-year-old met at Coachella in April of 2017. Looks like former Bachelorette contestant Tyler Cameron is back to his Bachelor life. A source close to the situation revealed that Cameron and supermodel Gigi Hadid are no longer dating. Rumors of the two dating sparked after they were seen out in New York together. The pair remained very private about their relationship. The couple were last seen at the Zendaya and Tommy Hilfiger fashion show, but they arrived separately, perhaps signaling the end of their time together. Adele is reported dating grime artist Skepta. This comes a few months following her divorce from Simon Konecki back in April. The Rolling the Deep singer has allegedly gone on a number of dates with Skepta, whose real name is Joseph Jr. Adenuga Jr. The two artists have been friends for a while, and even their friends are speculating that they are going to become a couple. The couple celebrated the couple celebrated Skepta's 37th birthday together in London a few weeks ago. The popular K-pop group BTS is back from their hiatus, although this isn't without a few obstacles. Their vacation is prompting rumors of the group breaking up in the midst of their large amount of success. However, the members were quick to dismiss these claims as they just needed time to relax after their busy schedule. A lot has been happening in the music industry. Let's go to our music correspondent, Maria Sato, to find out what Post Malone has been up to. Thanks, Christine and Hannah. Post Malone's latest album has been dominating the top of the Billboard 200 Albums chart for three consecutive weeks. The album titled Hollywood is Bleeding is the first album this year to remain number one for that long. Previous record holder is the A Star is Born collaboration with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Falling posty in the chart is the Owl by Zac Brown Band with 6 million streams, but Malone setting the record at 172 million streams. Would you, would you feel flattered or weirded out if an album was named after you? Lady Gaga tweeted on Tuesday that she is calling her next album Adele and her fans are confused. Gaga's fans, as known as Monsters, are blowing up Twitter, tweeting, trolling in the deep, making a pun from Adele's hit song, Rolling in the Deep. The Mother Monsters' sixth solo album is rumored to have collaborations with Rihanna, Diplo, and Cupcake. Speaking of Adele, could a collaboration be in her future? One Republic's lead singer, Ryan Tedder, told radio station Z100 New York on September 29th that they were working with Beyonce, Adele, and Coldplay's frontman Chris Martin on new music. While the internet was quick to get excited about this dream team, a representative for Tedder reported that he was only joking around. I guess we can just keep dreaming. Justin Bieber released a new song, 10,000 Hours, with country music duo Dan and Shay on Friday. The music video features the newly wedded wife, Hailey Bieber, showing affection to her husband. Justin Bieber, who posted a teaser for the song, called it the perfect wedding song. The Grammy-winning country singers has also attended the Bieber's wedding, which was last held last week. That's all I have for music this week. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Maria. When we come back, find out why Demi Lovato is facing backlash. And how the Holler Back Girl celebrated the Big 5-0. Stay with us. They call me Maxi, but I prefer Tripod. I was your above-average four-legged homie and then wham-bam minivan. 
Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. You can achieve a lot using your imagination. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to brag, but... Wait, who's that? And why is she all over these achievement awards? But with STEM, the sky's the limit. Shaboom! Use STEM to envision. Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Invent. Got any ideas? I've got a few, actually. And create a better world. Told you she's super smart. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Queen is just my everything. His smile did it. His smile, his eyes, his knowledge. My landlord, he decided that he wanted me to move based on the fact that I was transgender. Let's just respect people in everyday life for just being human. Welcome back to WVN Entertainment. We continue with the latest. Demi Lovato took to her Instagram story to apologize after receiving backlash for sharing photos of her trip to Israel. What she intended to be a spiritual experience was observed as her taking a political stance in the midst of Israel's ongoing conflict with Palestine. In her apology, the Cool for the Summer singer stated that she accepted the free trip to Israel in exchange for a few social media posts. She was not told of the potential backlash she may receive. Lovala apologized to anyone that she might have hurt or offended through her posts. Believe it or not, Gwen Stefani is now 50 years old. Her 43-year-old boyfriend, Blake Shelton, wished her a happy birthday on Twitter. Thursday night, the pair celebrated with a family dinner and cake at her parents' house. The star posted to her Instagram story showing off the multiple bouquets and cakes she received. The festivities continued into the weekend as the couple reunited with friends for dinner and drinks. Selena Gomez has written an article for Time magazine recounting her family's illegal entrance into the U.S. This comes ahead of her series on Netflix, Living Undocumented. In her op-ed, Selena expressed her gratefulness for being an American citizen, thanks to her family and the grace of circumstance. She described how her aunt left Mexico in the early 1970s and entered the U.S. by hiding in the back of a truck. The rest of Gomez's family followed suit. Let's now go to Leon and Kristen with What's Trending. Thanks, guys. Movie premiere Red Carpet is always a place to see amazing fashion from a number of celebrities. But Timothy Chalamet does it a little different from the rest. The star of Netflix's new movie, The King, showed up at the SVA Theater in New York City without his character's signature bowl cut. Chalamet arrived with multiple bags of bagels, which, according to fans there, he handed out to eager attendees. This all stems from a Twitter joke among stands who noted the actor's love for bagels from Tompkins Square Bagels in New York City. Even though the shop is a known hot spot for Chalamet and a number of other celebrities like the Jonah Brothers, the Kardashians, it is actually not overrun with fans attempting to glimpse the actors. Instead, Shalomet is a type of celebrities who bring the bagels to you, a quality any good king should possesses. I don't know about you, but personally, I would not show up to like a premiere or like a war show with a bagel, would you? I just think this is so funny. I wonder if the bagel company was in on it or if he was just doing it out of the kindness of his own heart. Could, be, mean, could be like a publicist <clears throat> stunt, you know, like, like yeah. a promotion, because I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to go check out that bagel place next time in New York. Right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, definitely. I'll be there this weekend, so maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll go check it out. A YouTube comedian jumped on stage at Chanel Spring 2020 fashion show. Maurice and Filtre crashed the show by running onto the stage from the audience, almost bumping into the following model. American supermodel Gigi Hadid sternly escorted her off of the show set during the finale. So I don't know, how would you react to somebody kind of 
stepping in on a fashion show that you were kind of watching? I, I, I know I would be a little bit scared at first. I mean, it depends on like the fashion brand, I would say, but for like such like a high end, like established like fashion brand like Chanel, like that have like this right. idea of luxury, I think that it's just like, you know, not trying to use that word, but it's like kind of like <clears throat> not as classy. So I don't know if Chanel, what Chanel's gonna do about this, but like no matter what, like, you know, I know people's always gonna be buying their bags, yeah. so they'll be fine. Not for nothing, it definitely, um it caught my attention more on the line, and I definitely watched bits and pieces of the fashion show that maybe I don't know if I would have definitely, otherwise. So definitely. it was. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Lana Del Rey opened up about her new romance with Sean Sticks Larkins for the first time in a profile for the Los Angeles Times. The singer songwriter says she's totally get why people are interested in her private life. However, the 34 year old singer was not aware that they were in the public's eye when photos surfaced of the new couple on a date in Central Park. I didn't know we were being photographed, she insists. I would have worn something different. Lala's new partner, Sean Larkins, is an analyst for AE's Live PD and provides insight about law enforcement to help viewers understand what happened to officers on patrol. <clears throat> so, how do you feel about Lana Del Rey? I think it's funny that she's kind of said, oh, if I had known I was being photographed, I would have worn a better outfit. Like, I don't know, I honestly. She could be just like asking for attention, you know, like because I don't know. I haven't heard anything about her drop lately, so I'm she's trying to stay relevant. Just hoping to get some new news. music out here. Yeah, well, I don't know. New album coming soon. Coming Hopefully. soon. Let's Co hope. Coming soon. <laughs> uh, One Direction is getting back together on Netflix. Fans can now watch the British pop band's 2013 documentary "This Is Us" on the streaming service. The film is about their close connection as friends to brothers and about life on the road. This Is Us covers One Direction's massive claim to fame that happened in just five years. But as we all know, the band has been on a long break for about the last three years. One Direction, so what yeah. do you think? Would you watch a documentary that was just made in 2013 about this very popular boy band? I mean... Honestly, it's not for me. But like, I know like there's a lot of like lady friends of mine that would like probably watch it and then like, you know... Post it on their Snapchat, so like, oh, please get back together, but it's none of my business, you know? Yeah, who knows? Maybe enough people will watch it and uh, stir the pot a little bit to kind of help get the band back together. Who knows? Uh, you know what they say. Long money, break. Yeah, money doesn't talk, it screams. So yep. the money's right, something <clears throat> could happen. Exactly. When we return, find out which HCTV stars are opening a hotel. And what celeb couple is celebrating their 27 years of marriage. Stay with us. They call me Maxi, but I prefer tripod. I was your above average four-legged homie and then wham, bam, minivan. Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. You can achieve a lot using your imagination. I mean, I don't like to brag, but... Wait, who's that? And why is she all over these achievement awards? But with STEM, the sky's the limit. Shaboom! Use STEM to envision... Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah! Invent... You got any ideas? I've got a few, actually. And create a better world. Told you she's super smart. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. Thank you. Thank you. Queen is just my everything. His smile did it. His smile, his eyes, his knowledge. My landlord, he decided that he wanted me to move based on the fact that I was transgender. Let's just respect people in everyday life for just being human. Welcome back to WBN Entertainment. Let's continue with the latest. Barack and Michelle Obama are celebrating 27 years of marriage. 
The couple shared messages of love on Twitter for the public to see how much they still adore one another. Barack referenced the Beatles in his tweet, saying, quote, it's getting better all the time. Since both of their daughters, Malia and Sasha, are in college, the couple are now coming to terms with the fact that they are empty nesters and must embark on a new adventure for themselves. The former Fixer Upper stars Chip and Joanna Gaines have recently announced that they are opening a hotel in Waco, Texas. The hotel will be in place of the 53,000 square foot Graham Karem Shine building, not so far away from another, from another one of their Waco business endeavors. The Magnolia Market, Chip and Joanna are hoping for a 2021 grand opening. Break out your scrunchies and leg warmers. Nostalgia Con, the 80s pop culture convention, debuted in Anaheim, California last week. The first annual Nostalgia Con was a two-day pop culture event that took place at the Anaheim Convention Center. Organized by promoter Manny Ruiz, it features pop culture stars from TV, film, and music from the good old days. The show was packed with classic cars, mini arcade games, and photo ops with some of the 80s biggest stars. The stars themselves reminisced with their glory days, and so did the Gen Xers. Let's now go over to our fashion correspondent, Victoria Gonzalez, to find out about the latest fashion news. Thanks, ladies. Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin finally had their wedding celebration. The couple held their traditional wedding ceremony in South Carolina a year after they tied the knot in a courthouse. Ms. Bieber wore a white, off-the-shoulder dress, laced gown. And during the reception, rocked a black leather jacket customized with the word wife on the back. Celebrity guests like Kendall Jenner wore a tight black and gold velvet dress. Kylie Jenner shocked the public with her gold single shoulder gown made of foil-like material and cut across the chest. Many fans thought Kylie was upstaging the bride and the dress was even trending on Twitter. The spring-summer 2020 Chanel show in Paris was interrupted by a prankster. A woman randomly joined the other models on the catwalk in a mocking fashion. The security on duty did not catch her in time, but American model Gigi Hadid came to the rescue. Gigi was able to confront the prankster and escort her to the run off the runway before the show ended. The woman was identified as French YouTuber Marie Sinfiltre, who's known for her pranks. Justin Timberlake also became the victim of a prank. Um, the American singer and actor had an issue with the prankster before attending the Louis Vuitton Paris Fashion Week show. As Timberlake was walking in with his wife, Vitaly Saduk, who is normally seen tackling celebrities, grabbed Timberlake's right ankle. The singer's security guards had to pull Saduk from the ground off of Timberlake's leg. Thankfully, no one was seriously harmed and the couple was able to attend the show. Zendaya finally finished the launch of her latest Tommy Hilfiger collection in Milan. She also shared outfit inspirations to get fans ready to, to dress for the fall. The actress says her favorite references incorporate, to incorporate into her designs are iconic women from the 70s glamour fashion, like Diana Ross or Donna Summer. This explains why dull colors and stripes and polka dots are huge elements in Zendaya's new collection. That's all that's happening in the world of fashion this week. Back to you, Christine and Hannah. Thanks, Victoria. Thank you so much for joining us for WEBN Entertainment. I'm Christine Park. And I'm Hannah Shuttlecotty. Have a great night.